Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. If you're like me, then you probably wanted to try out every new weapon that came out with this last patch. As I'm still waiting for some weapons with better rolls, I did manage to snag the new shovel for the Ogren. I managed to make a build that's capable of one-tapping crushers with the new special action. And since it's been a long time since I've had a ripper gun on my Ogren, I wanted to find a way to use that for horde clearing and obliterating specials that were aggressively pushing my team. I made my Ogren into this meme machine of pure muscle, and the best part is, is how useful he can be when fighting packs of enemies. Let's start with the loadout. As I mentioned before, I'm using the new Brute Brainer Mark 19 Latrine Shovel. This weapon can have some intense damage when it comes to your special action, and the bulk of your damage from mobbing can be mixing lights and heavies into your moveset. But anytime elites present themselves, you should be charging your heavy with the special action for maximum damage. To make sure we're outputting a ton of damage towards the right enemies, I went with damage to carapace and unyielding enemies as my perks. And to be able to one-tap crushers, you'll want the blessing thrust on the shovel as well. This lets you gain up to 20% power based on the charge time of your heavy attack. As for my other blessings, since I wanted to be more tanky when fighting with my team, I opted in for confidence strike for the toughness regen when chaining hits. My secondary is mostly for fun, so feel free to experiment with whatever weapon you like. I wanted to chain bleeding into my build for an effective way to stay alive, as well as push forces back if I needed to from a distance. I tested this out with the kickback initially, but the weapon just wasn't working as well for me since it was a single shot. But once I swapped to the Mark II Ripper, I was able to fight back pretty easily. For this weapon I have damage to maniacs and ranged critical chances my perk choices. And luckily enough for me, I already have Flechette for bleed stacks on critical hits, and Calvacade which gives me even more crit chance for every 10% of my mag spent when continuously firing. The way I made this build is so anytime I have a majority of specials in front of me, I can spray my full mag, sending bleed stacks down range at anyone I can hit. Then I can charge in with my ability and finish off enemies with my shovel, recycling any kills for the cooldown reduction. The synergy of constantly swapping off range fighting to close quarters was a ton of fun. I rarely had any trouble whenever I got cornered by elites because I'm even more deadly up close. For my curios, I'm personally running a wound and two toughness curios. You can put on whatever you feel more comfortable running with here, but I wanted the extra toughness for mob fighting since I find myself crowd clearing most of the time. As for my perks, I went with boost to my max health and toughness with resistance to gunners and boost to my toughness regen with stamina regen. Again, experiment with whatever you want for your curios. I found gunners to be my main issue here since I can only ever spray them down if I ever caught their eye first, but with the extra health and toughness, it didn't really affect me too much. As for my talent tree, I wanted to create a tank with tremendous power. I was mostly experimenting with the idea of being able to kill elites and crushers with a single hit, and thankfully, that's easily possible with this new shovel. Let's break down what abilities I found to be useful in survivability and resourcing damage output whenever that moment could arise. We can start out with our main ability, Indomitable. This is our charge allowing us to stagger and knock over enemies easily. It grants us 25% attack speed and 25% movement speed for 5 seconds. To enhance this ability further, I took Pulverize for the 5 stacks of bleed that get applied whenever we charge into our enemies. And I took Stomping Boots for the 10% toughness replenishment per enemy hit there as well. For mutants that are interested in how compacted sediment tastes, I have my big friendly rock as my blitz. These are now regenerative every 45 seconds and are a ton of fun to just throw around. My keystone ability that I went with was Feel No Pain for the toughness replenishment and the damage reduction buffs that we get with each stack. This alone will keep you in the fight when most of your team is just being bullied. But to make sure that we can outlast, I wanted Pain Outburst for the chance of us being held down by an enemy pox hound, but also for that instant 25% toughness replenishment. And with Strongest, we can get our stacks back just by pushing down enemies. As for my passives, I was still experimenting with the idea of basically tanking through most of the enemies for my team to just keep their overall survivability up. I went with Attention Seeker for the taunt on enemies for 8 seconds. And since I was already using Strongest anyways, I figured if I can pull the attention to myself, it's better for them to hit me rather than a teammate. Bruiser is becoming a guaranteed pick for most of my Ogrim builds. Since getting cooldown reduction from elite enemies is incredibly easy with this build, we can shave off a few seconds each time anyone kills an elite. Crunch allows for more damage whenever we charge our melee attacks to full. Since we have the buff from Thrust as well, we can push our damage and impact to greater heights upon charging a heavy attack. Furious is also nice for whenever we're swiping into enemies with our heavy attack, gaining another damage boost to our next melee. I usually chain a heavy into a light sweep for more damage to a few enemies in the crowd. I chose Get Stuck In for the speed boost for my team and for the immunity to stuns and suppression. Again, pushing for my team's survivability. Hard Knocks has so much value with this build, as you'll be able to be an Ogren killer yourself. Getting heavies to stagger is easier, especially with the amount of damage we can do. 
focus hitting heavies on elites, along with downward special attack strike downs for maximum damage. Heavyweight is again always a great choice for an Ogren build for the damage against Ogren enemies as well as the damage reduction when fighting them. Something to note here is that for any Ogrens, a well placed strike down with our shovel should be enough to one tap them with our special attack, hence why this passive is necessary. I took Lynchman to keep my toughness replenishment consistent whenever we're fighting Coherency. Payback Time is another passive that I was experimenting with at first, but I grew to actually really enjoy since I threw my Ogren in the worst position sometimes. This was a really noticeable damage increase whenever a little heretic would try to tickle my toes. Slam again will go hand in hand with Crunch for more impact bonus on our melee attacks, and since the shovel has a huge advantage of being a strong single target weapon with its new special, Smashing will replenish any toughness easily whenever we're fighting one on one. And the best defense is for when we have a nice lineup of mobs all tagging along closely. A regular heavy attack should be able to cleave through multiple targets. And lastly, I took Won't Give In for the damage reduction that we receive whenever an ally is knocked down or incapacitated. This is mostly so we can tank while saving them. Kill anything that can threaten that, but once you do, revive them or rescue them quickly. My operative modifiers are nothing too extravagant. I have some boost in health, melee damage, rending, toughness, and damage reduction. But having this Shovel Knight storm in and take control of the battle has been a great time. I've been enjoying making sure the little ones have a safe place between me and all the chaos. Overall though, I had a ton of fun just making a build with a brand new weapon. And truth be told, it finally feels like a fair game whenever I can down a crusher the same way he can down me. There's a lot of fun synergy that you can find with this build, and it's pretty open to ranged weapons as well. Anyways, I'm gonna go hunt down some more new weapons in Brun's Armory, but until next time, my name is Zen, and I hope to talk to you again real soon. Enjoy the rest of the match.
magnificent emperor! That last heretic nearly took my head! Keep trying! Man Follow me! Must you treat everything as a joke? Rene! It's a choice between laughing loud and screaming me lungs out from Captain Sanity. I'll show this farmer every time. Here! May we find such a...
Like him. You are not together. You should be now.